what's going on YouTube I had to get this video up pretty quickly look the House Democrats just had a press conference about an hour ago uh, laying out their plan to address what's going on with the USPS if you're wondering why the post office has been in the mail uh, <laughs> if you're wondering why the post office has been in the news over the last week uh, we got some issues going on right now and I'm gonna update you on what's going on and what the Democrats pretty much just presented about an hour ago at a press conference outside of the post office in Washington DC so House Democrats held a news conference earlier today laying out their plans and here's a couple few takeaways from what was talked about earlier today Steny Hoyer and Congressman Hoyer and the other members of the House here and Speaker Pelosi for bringing back the House to pass a bill that says very clearly that you can't make any changes, not a single change, until January 1 of next year at the very earliest. They got caught red-handed. The postmaster will halt all changes until after the election. The post office will not be removing any more mailboxes or sorting machines from sorting facilities. And also, the postmaster will testify on Friday before a Senate committee and House Oversight Committee next week. And also, there are two lawsuits being filed against the postmaster, being led by Washington State, with more states joining, Colorado, Connecticut, Illinois, Michigan, Minnesota, Nevada, New Mexico, Oregon, Rhode Island, Vermont, Virginia. Other states include California, some of the states that aren't mentioned, Texas, Florida, and some of the southern states. I mean, no surprise there. What's not mentioned is, will they replace the sorting machines and post office boxes that were reportedly removed? And as we've seen on the internet and on Twitter, all the boxes being gathered up around different cities and just thrown into trucks. Your president, 45, is literally playing games with you, America. He is treating the USPS like a political football. He literally just threw a no-look pass to one of his biggest donors, Louis DeJoy. Now the Democrats want to take action, but action should have been taken when he appointed DeJoy as the new Postmaster General back on May 6, 2020. DeJoy is the first Postmaster in two decades to be appointed to this position without any prior experience. Another thing that's gonna be added within the bill is all election mail will be considered first class mail, which is gonna be costly, knowing that the post office is expected to have increased volume with mail-in votes coming in in November. So the Democrats wanna present a bill called Delivering for America Act, which will include 25 billion in funding for the USPS. The Senate has their own bill, which will only include 10 billion. So the House and the Senate are supposed to agree on this money by next week. When they weren't able to agree on stimulus checks and coronavirus relief for the last month or so, I don't think anything's gonna get done. So in all, let's keep our eye on this and see what happens by the end of the week going into Monday. But my key question is, well, the one thing I'm taking away from this is that um, Friday and Monday, the postmaster is going to testify in front of these committees. And we're only going to see a bunch of heavy questioning and sound clips and sound bites by the end of the week. But after all this hoopla is, you know, pretty much died down, I really don't think anything's going to happen or anything's going to come from this or anything's going to be reversed. They're still not answering the question of will those machines be replaced and will we get funding for the post office? So to the public, hey, just keep writing your congressmen and representatives. Look, 45 is trying to steal an election. It's blatant at this point. And he's pretty much, you know, eroded every government institution, every American institution from the FBI to the news. Now the post office, he's taking advantage of the IRS. I mean, we got a lot of problems to take care of right now. We got a lot of issues and concerns that are, man. Well, the shenanigans, the foolishness will continue to ensue. It's only gonna get crazier from here on out. 
trying to mix up the content a little bit. If you like more daily content, let me know. Hit me in the comments. Hit the like button and subscribe. Hey, I'm Kassan Simmons. This is the channel and new episodes of new episodes of Black History Reconstructed coming soon. More episodes of what happened to. If you got a topic you want me to cover, hit me up in the comments, DM on Instagram, and uh, stay tuned.